I think there's been dramatic improvement in the safety of the transplant. And um, it definitely this uh, imposes us to reassess where to position HSCD in the treatment algorithm. And I think we, at, at, at this stage, HSCD is at the very bottom of the algorithm. So it's like a rescue therapy that is considered only if patient fail dramatically any other form of highly active treatment. And I think it's not fair because overall it's becoming a very safe procedure and um, it is it, it, gaining is gaining its position within the algorithm therapeutic algorithm probably soon enough we will start using it more less reluctantly more with more confidence there are also important it's important to point out there are already two ongoing very important phase three trials which will allow to answer more comprehensively the question whether HSCT early in the disease course can be a valid alternative option to highly active DMT. Those two trials are the STAR-MS, which is run in um, UK and uh, Imperial, where I work, is a leading center, and BIT-MS is an American trial. And because the fundamental question which emerged also from our study is whether HSCT could exert its maximum efficacy when is provided to patient early in the disease course, when the, there is a lot of inflammatory activity that can be tackled aggressively. And early in the disease course, patients are often less disabled than in the later stage. And we know from literature that uh, the transplant safety profile is much better when, when the transplant is given to younger uh, patients early in the disease course with less disability. So these people are much less exposed to uh, treatment-related mo uh, mortality from the transplant.